one of the elite sprinters in Gustavus track and field history. Jerry Washington earned six All-America awards and set six school records from 2000 to 2003. I'm sure it was a tough transition for him to come down to Minnesota and not know anyone, and, but he made it, made it well, played football first year or two, I believe, as well as track, but I think he found that Holding onto a baton was a lot easier than holding onto a football, from what I heard. And he made an impact right away in track. His freshman year, he had a second and two thirds at the conference meets, and that's very good for a sprinter. Washington's greatest strength was in the outdoor 100 meter as he captured three All-America honors at the NCAA championships, finishing eighth in 2001, sixth in 2002, and seventh in 2003. He also achieved All-America honors twice in the indoor 55 meter in 2001 and 2003, and once in the outdoor 400 meter relay in 2002. Washington became the most decorated Gustavus sprinter by sticking to an extreme work ethic and consuming every bit of coaching he was offered. I think what made Jerry Washington special was probably what makes all the honorees tonight special he had a, a good amount of talent coming in, but his work ethic and coachability were off the charts. And I think that's, you, that would apply to almost every inductee tonight. The Anchorage, Alaska native still holds school records in the indoor 55 meter, indoor 60 meter, indoor 200 meter, outdoor 200 meter, outdoor 4x100, and outdoor 4x200. He also holds the Gustavus Stadium and MIAC record in the 200 meter. Jerry was a great leader. Uh, the other sprinters told me he spent a lot of time with the freshmen, showing them how to warm up. He had a special warm up for the for meets. It took about 30 to 45 minutes, and he showed them. Was very diligent about it. He worked with kids in the weight room. He worked with kids on drills, and was just a good all-around leader, both during meets and in practices. Washington won seven MIAC championships between the indoor 55 meter, indoor 200 meter, outdoor 100 meter, and outdoor 200 meter. In 2001, he was named the MIAC Most Outstanding Athlete after winning both the 100 and 200 meter races and placing third in the 4x100. In 2002, Washington was honored with the MIAC Most Outstanding Performance for setting the meet record in the 200 meter, which also ranked third nationally. Throughout his career, Washington was a 16-time All-Conference honoree. My favorite memory of Jerry is the indoor national meet his senior year. Jerry and two other men on our track team, A, made All-American, and B, scored enough points for Gustavus to get a fourth place NCAA trophy, uh, the first in the history of the program and the only one to this day. And I think the irony is all three of those gentlemen are being inducted in the Hall of Fame tonight. Ryan Hogue, Luke Speltz, and Jerry Washington. And I just remember the joy on Jerry's face when they were called forward to get the, get the trophy. And that's something that he'll always have, his All-American status and the fact that they won the NCAA trophy. After graduating in 2003 with a degree in psychology, Washington was a care coordinator counselor for a nonprofit school based behavioral health program. He later earned his MBA from the University of Phoenix. After training in a gym for over a decade, Washington founded General Fitness Company. He also was the 2012 World Natural Powerlifting Federation champion in his weight class with a 190 pound power curl and competed in the 2015 America Ninja Warrior. Jerry lives in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and has a three-year-old son, Reggie. Jerry had a sense of humor, but it didn't show up before the meet or during the meet. He was a big time focus guy. He was driven and focused on his goal. But once that was over, good or bad, he had a sense of humor about it and always handled himself with class. Good guy. 